What's going on, everyone? Welcome back into the channel. Happy Friday to everyone watching. The final Week 9 Packers versus Rams injury report just came out with all the injury designations for both teams as well as another new addition to this Packers injury report because that just seemingly keeps on happening. Yesterday, we saw Rudy Ford added to the injury report, and today we see yet another player added to the injury report who is questionable for Sunday. So in today's video, we're going to dive down into both injury reports, break them down, see the designations for both teams ahead of this Week 9 matchup. Before we do that, I want to remind you guys, thank you to Pristine Auction. I'm giving away this signed Devondre Campbell framed photo here. It's really massive photo. It's hard to get even get it in the entire camera frame here. Awesome photo giving away. Thank you to Pristine Auction. Pristine Auction, an awesome signed sports memorabilia website where you can find tons of awesome Green Bay Packers signed gear. Signed Packers mini helmets, football cards, jerseys. We see framed jersey here. Jordan Love framed jersey. Six hours left. No reserve at $68.25, a signed Aaron Jones jersey, Romeo Dobbs, Jaden Reed. There are so many cool signed Packers items like everything behind me, all at Pristine Auction. So to enter in the signed Devondre Campbell photo, go to Pristine Auction or click the link in the description below and register on their website using my registration code BAS. That'll enter you in this giveaway and all future giveaways and I'm doing two a month through Pristine Auction. That'll also give you $10 off your first order. So you could go and search up Packers items, get a really good deal on one of the items, and get $10 off that additionally. Thank you to Pristine Auction for sponsoring this giveaway. All right, without further ado, let's dive into this injury report. I actually just finished a game preview live stream, Packers versus Rams, right on my channel. So if you want to go rewatch that, we dive down into the analytical side of both teams ahead of this game. So now let's dive down into the injury side. If we bring up the injury report here, Jair Alexander holds no game designation I thought he may be questionable for this game but really nice to see no designation here and that back injury hopefully didn't flare up at all during this week he was limited all week he is ready to go for this game we're gonna need him you know Puka Nakua Cooper Cup I'm kind of scared of that whether it's Brett Rippon or Matthew Stafford that means you know one of those receivers is going to be either on Keyshawn Nixon or Carrington Valentine, or Corey Valentine, whoever it may be. So that does scare me, and we need Jair to step up. We need Jair to maybe mirror Cooper Cup in the slot if Joe Barry allows him to, and maybe get back on track on his season. Rudy Ford was a new addition to the injury report yesterday, and it's not something we want to see here. He did not participate today, where he was limited yesterday with that calf injury. He is questionable. Now, I'm hoping that the did not participate today was simply give him his rest for his calf ahead of the game Sunday. Check him out Sunday. See if he's ready to go. I hope it's not, oh, it got worse, and that's why he's not practicing. He is listed as questionable. He's been a cog in this defense, one of the most consistent players, and probably the best safety we have uh, right now with Darnell Savage on IR. Um, John Owens hasn't been too hot. Honestly, I think the Packers should throw in Anthony Johnson Jr. and let the kid get some snaps. Elton Jenkins limited all week, no designation. He's been starting to play uh, a little bit better than, than we saw the last few weeks. Aaron Jones limited all week, no designation. Finally, Aaron Jones isn't questionable. Now, he had a non-contact red jersey on all week, every day of practice, but Ben Sermon, the Packers running back coach, basically said, we're just being cautious with them. And Matt LaFleur himself said, they are ready to let Aaron Jones loose this week. Now, I'll believe it when I see it. There's been jokes going around, oh, maybe he'll get 12 touches this game. No, I want Aaron Jones to get all the touches, and if he's tired, and that's if, then you bring in A.J. Dillon, right? Not every other drive, we're switching off A.J. Dillon and Aaron Jones to keep the back fresh. No, run Aaron Jones, past Aaron Jones, center this offense around Aaron Jones, and hopefully that gets this thing going. Hopefully that starts to build an identity for this offense through Aaron Jones, which is, in my opinion, how you're going to do it. So hopefully the Packers finally start to really give Aaron Jones the touches he deserves and maybe put together a touchdown in the first half, maybe. Hopefully we can do that this week with Aaron Jones. Next on the list, we see Luke Musgrave. Limited all week with his ankle. He's good to go. Josh Nyman, the same. Limited all week with his foot injury. He is good to go. I expect him to be the starting left tackle to start this game. Um, that's the only swap I see happening this week. Him for Rashid Walker at left tackle. And I think it should help them out a little bit more there. Then the final play on this list was the new addition to the injury report. And that is Quay Walker. 
with a groin injury. And, and groin is very similar to hamstring where they can linger around. So I'm really hoping this doesn't turn into another Aaron Jones, Christian Watson type situation. He didn't practice today. And that's they basically said, you know, he tightened up and they wanted to rest him today. So he's still questionable. So at least he's questionable. He's not doubtful or out or anything. They're still going to let him rest at the end of today. And then obviously all of Saturday and test him out Sunday morning. Hopefully he's able to play. I was so hyped to finally start seeing this duo in action. You know, Devondre Campbell, Quay Walker. Campbell had a great game last week. Quay Walker has stepped up in his absence, and I was just so ready to see both these guys on the field at once. And now we see Quay Walker with an injury right when Devondre Campbell is healthy. You know, we just can't win in the injury regard as of late. Now diving into the Rams injury report, which is a much longer list than the Green Bay Packers. Defensive back Kobe Durant, which is actually their cornerback number two, is questionable. He was limited all week the shoulder injury punter Ethan Evans is good to go Rob Havenstein their starting right tackle is questionable this is a huge one because note boom will take over at right tackle if Havenstein can't go and he has been awful this year so hopefully this happens and Havenstein can't play in this game and you know the Packers can have Rashawn Gary over note boom and pressure either Rippon or Stafford well. Ernest Jones is out of this game, linebacker, and that's a big one too. He was one of their better linebackers, so big to see Ernest Jones out of this game. Hunter Long also out with a hamstring, even though he was a full participant in practice every week. That is an interesting one. Honestly, that confuses me. <laughs> Actually, looking at it right now, that really does confuse me. A full participant in practice every day with a hamstring, but he's out of this game. Interesting. Laurel Merchie's in here, knee injury. He's questionable. Puka Naku is questionable. Puka is going to play, right? Matthew Stafford didn't participate with his UC sprain in his right thumb all week, but he's also questionable. And they're going to run this up until Sunday morning. And Matthew Stafford is a, is a tough player, and I think he could play in this game. It's obviously all going to be down to how he feels, but he's a tough player. We've seen it in the past when he's on the line. Or, and even on the Rams. He's a tough player. I could see him definitely playing in this game, and that would definitely make this game a lot harder to win for the Green Bay Packers. Skoronek here is ready to go. Austin Trammell ready to go. Aaron Donald was added to the injury report, but only veteran rest, so obviously he's going to play. Same with Brian Allen, veteran rest on Friday. So that's the final injury report for the Green Bay Packers versus Los Angeles Rams Week 9 matchup. I have high hopes for this Packers team. I think they can win this game. I think it's a very winnable game. This Rams defense isn't good, and the Rams offense shouldn't be good if Rippon is playing quarterback. If the Packers offense were to start to build any type of identity and start to put something together, it would be this week against the Rams. But that about does it for this video. I appreciate you guys watching. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like down below. But I'll catch you on the next one. And as always, Go Pack Go!